In this video, we're going to be learning about conjugates and how to divide complex numbers. So if z is a complex number in the form of a plus bi, where a and b are elements of the real number set, and i squared is equal to minus 1, then the conjugate of z, written as z with a little bar on top, is a minus bi. So basically, to get the conjugate of a complex number, all you do is change the sign of the i, the imaginary part. So if it's a plus, it becomes a minus. If it's a minus, it becomes a plus. For example, if z is equal to minus 2 minus 12i, then the conjugate of z, so z with a little bar on top, is minus 2 plus 12i. So the rule is we change the sign of the imaginary part. So z is equal to minus 2 plus 3i, find the conjugate of z. So to work out the conjugate, we change the sign of the imaginary part. So the minus 2, which is the real part, stays the same, and plus 3i becomes minus 3i. So the conjugate of z is equal to minus 2 minus 3i. Part 2. Plot z and the conjugate of z on the argon diagram. Well, z is equal to 2 minus 2i. So we go to 2 on the real axis, which is here, and minus 2 on the imaginary axis, which is down here. And we plot the point z, highlighted here in yellow. We worked out in part 1 that the conjugate of z was 2 plus 2i. All we did was change the minus to a plus. So we go to 2 on the real axis which is here, and positive 2 on the imaginary axis, which is here, and we plot the point conjugate of z, or z bar. So the conjugate of z is the image of z by an axial symmetry in the real axis. So basically, if we took the real axis to be a mirror line, then the conjugate of z is the mirror image of z in the real axis. If z is equal to 13 plus 2i, find the conjugate of z, z plus the conjugate of z, z minus the conjugate of z, and z multiplied by the conjugate of z. So if z is equal to 13 plus 2i, then to work out the conjugate, we change the sign of the imaginary part. So the 13 stays the same because that's the real part, and the plus 2i becomes minus 2i. So the conjugate of z is 13 minus 2i. If z is equal to 13 plus 2i, find z plus the conjugate of z. So z is 13 plus 2i, and the conjugate of z is 13 minus 2i. So we add the real parts with the real parts, and the imaginary parts with the imaginary parts. So z is 13 plus 2i. The conjugate of z is 13 minus 2i. So we get 13 plus 2i plus 13 minus 2i. We put the real parts together, 13 plus 13 is 26, and plus 2i minus 2i gives us 0i. So we can just forget about the i part, and our answer is 26, which is a real number. And this will always happen. If you ever add a complex number with its conjugate, you end up with a real number, so you end up with no imaginary part. Part 3, find z minus the conjugate of z. So again, z is 13 plus 2i. The conjugate of z is 13 minus 2i. So we don't have anything stuck on in front of this bracket, so we just write down the 13 and the plus 2i. Minus times 13 is minus 13, and minus times minus 2i is plus 2i. 13 minus 13 gives us 0, they cancel, and 2i plus 2i is plus 4i. So we forget about the real part and we're just left with 4i. So whenever we subtract a conjugate, from its complex number, we end up with an imaginary part. We end up with an i value and no real part. Part 4. Find z multiplied by the conjugate of z. So when two things are stuck together in maths, that means multiply. So this means z multiplied by the conjugate of z. So z is 13 plus 2i, so we write that down with brackets around it. And the conjugate of z is 13 minus 2i, so we write that down with brackets around it. 
So we crack open the egg, the 13 falls down here and we stick on the second egg, 13 minus 2i, and the plus 2 falls down here and we stick on the second egg, 13 minus 2i. 13 times 13 is 169, 13 times minus 2i is minus 26i. Plus 2i by 13 is plus 26i, and plus 2i by minus 2i is minus 4i squared. Next we bring down the 169, the minus 26i and the plus 26i cancel out, and the i squared becomes minus 1 with brackets around it. Very important that we have brackets around it because the minus 4 and the i squared were stuck together, so that means that they are multiplied together. So we're going to multiply the minus 4 by the minus 1. So minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 4 because a minus by minus is a plus. And 169 plus 4 is 173, which is a real number. So the rule is, if you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, it gives a real number. You won't have any i's. A shortcut way to do this is to square the first part, which is 13, the real. So squaring 13 gives us 169. And squaring the second part, which is 2, or minus 2, which will give us 4 and then adding them gives us 173. Dividing complex numbers. Calculate 15 plus 10i divided by 5. So 15 plus 10i over 5 can be broken down to be 15 over 5 plus 10 over 5i. 15 divided by 5 gives us 3, and 10 divided by 5 gives us 2 with an i stuck on. So when we multiply a complex number z by a real number a, so by any real number, we multiply that a, or that real number, by the real part and by the imaginary part. Similarly, when we divide a complex number by a real number a, we divide the real part and the imaginary part by a. So for example here, we were dividing this complex number by 5, so we divide the real part by 5, and then we divide the imaginary part by 5. Calculate 14 minus 3i over 2. So likewise, we're going to divide the real part by 2. So 14 over 2 gives us 7. And we're going to divide the imaginary part by 2. Minus 3i divided by 2 gives us minus 3i over 2. Or you could say minus 1 and a half, but it's better to leave it as a fraction. Work out 6 plus 4i divided by 3 minus 2i. To divide complex numbers... So to divide one complex number by another complex number, we multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of 3 minus 2i. So the conjugate of 3 minus 2i is 3 plus 2i. We just change the sign of the i. So we're going to work out 6 plus 4i multiplied by 3 plus 2i. And then separately, we're going to work out 3 minus 2i multiplied by 3 plus i. And then we're going to put them back together. So let's start with the top. 6 plus 4i times 3 plus 2i. So we're going to do the top by the top. So multiplying fractions, we do the top by the top. So we're going to stick brackets around them. And we're going to crack open the egg. Bring the 6 down. Stick on the 3 plus 2i. Bring the plus 4i down. Stick on the 3 plus 2i. Then 6 by 3 is 18. 6 by 2i is 12i, 4i by 3 is 12i, and 4i by 2i is plus 8i squared. We bring down the 18. 12i plus 12i is 24i, and then the i squared becomes minus 1. It gets stuck onto the 8 with brackets. 8 times minus 1 is minus 8. And then 18 minus 8 is 10, and we bring down the 24i. Next, we're going to do bottom by bottom. So we're going to do 3 minus 2i, multiply by 3 plus 2i. So we write 3 minus 2i with brackets around it, and we stick on 3 plus 2i with brackets around it. So we're going to crack open the egg. We bring down the 3, we stick on the 3 plus 2i. We bring down the minus 2i, we stick on the 3 plus 2i. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2i is plus 6i. Minus 2i by 3 is minus 6i. Minus 2i multiplied by plus 2i is minus 4i squared. We bring down the 9, plus 6i, minus 6i will cancel, and the i squared becomes minus 1 with brackets around it. 4 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 1, and 9 plus 4 is 13. So 3 minus 2i multiplied by 3 plus 2i is 13. A shortcut way of doing this 
because we're multiplying a complex number by its conjugate, would be to square the first number, the real part, which is 3. 3 squared gives us 9. And square the second part, minus 2 squared gives us 4, because minus 2 by minus 2 is 4. And 9 plus 4 is 13. Next, we put them back together. So the top of the fraction is now 10 plus 24i. So this becomes this. And the bottom of the fraction is now 13. So this becomes this. So 10 plus 24i over 13, we simplify. We say 10 divided by 13, that's the real part. And then 24i divided by 13, that's the imaginary part. And we leave it as a top heavy or improper fraction.